Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rod here with the Hodler Fud Crypto, your new source for all things cryptocurrency. Well guys, we're jumping back in, taking another look at a project we covered back in April that's absolutely been killing it for us. Now, if you had to listen to us then, you'd be in position right now to be in almost a 5X scenario almost pushing into a 6x scenario so what is it we're talking about guys of course we're talking about polygon or matic as it's still known by its token name so what were we looking at what do we love about it then we covered it in this video right up here guys where we talked about how matic is a layer two scalability uh, project that's really helping with those shortcomings of Ethereum. And what we like about it was that, that Matic has positioned itself to be kind of that forefront runner right from the get-go and providing those scalability and throughput uh, solutions. So, um, you know, I think, you know, with Matic being a, a solution for scalability issues and, you know, Right now, they're still not there with their ZK rollups and their optimistic rollups, but there are some big things happening for Matic. It's now being listed on several new sites. You see it on Kraken or Kraken, depends who you talk to. Uh, you're seeing it being listed on one inch. So there's a lot of big news happening. Now, they're also looking about how they can change smart contracts and taking an immutable data source and making it so that it's able to be um, edited uh, if it needs to have any kind of revisions. Now, if you jump over to their Twitter page, you can see they've had a, a string of tweets about it, talking about um, why some people are looking at this and, and the positives behind it. So there's definitely some big things happening for Polygon. But what you got to understand is when you jump on and you look at the charts, there's nothing slowing this thing down. This is kind of shaping out. I'm not telling you this is going to be a $4,000 run like Ethereum, but there's nothing right now on the charts that's showing us that it's going to stop. Now, if you want to look at this in the scenario that we looked at in uh, April, where we thought that we were going to see a two to three X, and if you had have taken our advice in April and got into a project like Matic, uh, you would have five to six X your money already. Now, that sounds phenomenal. Don't get me wrong, but do we think that this is done? And where do we think it's going to go from here? Well, no, I don't think this is done because we talked about until uh, Ethereum can really get itself together and, and get those scalability issues and gas fees and, and uh, throughputs uh, solved with their uh, ETH 2.0 uh, rollout that starts in July of this year. This is where everybody's turning. Matic has kind of been here since, well, 2019 for the Polygon Matic name itself. But it's really been that steadfast that people have been really looking to. So we don't have much in the terms of the way that it wants to slow this down. So where it's going to go to, it's really hard to say. But if you looked at every time that Matic has gone down and touched the EMA 20 ribbon, the top yellow ribbon on the chart, it's had 188 to 191% upswing. Well, if you look, we have just touched just a few days ago, three days prior, or sorry, two days prior, I think it was, to that correction or pullback that we had, we had Matic go from a dollar two is what it slowed down to, and it's gone all the way up to a dollar sixty nine right now. It was at dollar eighty thirty minutes ago, a dollar eighty guys. So. Where do we think it's going to go? Do we think that we're going to see that pullback and, and stop? No, I don't. Because if we're going to use that trend as our friend scenario, and it doesn't have to be exact, but it sure as heck can rhyme, 
right now we've only actually ever gone up from that set or that 20 EMA ribbon 70% guys. So even if we did stretch it out and say that we were only going to hit maybe 150%, maybe even we can go more conservative. I myself seeing maybe a $2.20 uh, Matic by the end of this weekend and maybe seeing another period of accumulation, which would be very healthy for this thing. But I absolutely don't think it's done. And what's really surprising is what I think it still has left in it for the tank. I really do feel with the way everything is shaping up and Ethereum is absolutely crushing the market. It is outperforming almost everything. I can see Matic doing much of the same and, and having those huge, huge leaps. But I'm going to give you what my final price prediction is for this bull run. We'll check in on it again in a month and let you know where we're at with it. But I really do feel that Matic being that layer 2 solution that we've been looking for, that 2.0 solution that we've been looking for, that will really fix the scalability. And really with these um, mutable or changeable contracts that they're working on right now is exactly what blockchain needs for that that mass adoption and really gets people excited about these things. So we've talked about how Matic is what people are going to be using and their throughput and scalability is an absolute reason why people are absolutely still going to this project. Guys, if we're going to actually look at where this thing ends, Sure, we, I'm looking at a $2.20, maybe even up as high as $2.50 before this thing cools down. But I'm telling you right now, we're going to see Matic hit somewhere around the 6 to 6.25 range in the heat of this bull run. Now, we've seen all kinds of things trying to pull prices down. And the really resilient product or projects that have a lot of fundamentals behind them. The technicals don't have to be there, but the fundamentals is the team. It's the asset. It's everything that goes into these things, like your Cardano's, your Maddox. Um, even your th Ethereum bounced back quicker over to 4,000 than I expected it to. I really thought we would see a cool down period, but if you look at these fundamentally strong projects, that are technically sound, that have great teams involved in them and how they responded to that pullback, nothing could slow these things down. And like I said, as we continue to move forward, nothing looks to be getting in the way of Matic. Now, the only thing that can trip it up would be its own self, but we are seeing a lot more uh, growth for it to be available on multiple networks. So as I said, we're looking at a $6 to $6.25 in the heat of this bull run as this thing starts to get running again. So that's what I really think that's gonna happen for Matic. Uh, like I said, 220 to 225, or 220 to 250, right where it's currently running right now. But I really do see that we're gonna get up to that $6 to $6.25 range in the heat of this bull market. So guys, that's what I got for tonight on Matic. These price update videos are absolutely fantastic if you're getting anything from them if you like the opinion if you like the content go ahead and hit that subscribe button guys like these videos and make sure you leave me a comment if there's projects we covered in the past and you want me to do an update on them go ahead hit it up with a comment if there's a project that you're currently invested in or thinking about and you want us to cover it go ahead and drop that in the comments as well but guys we've learned a lot a lot and if there's nothing else that you guys can take away from these videos is to remember to protect yourself don't wreck yourself hodler fud out